welcome to a behind the scenes survivor redemption island well weeks before i leave los angeles to head to location one of the first teams to get out there and start working are the guys that build tribal council it typically takes seven weeks to turn an empty field into the tribal council that you see on the show so we thought it might be fun to take you behind the scenes from start to finish with benny and the crew building tribal council for survivor redemption island Lay out. So the vote booth, the vote booth is going to be out over the edge of this headland, and it's going to be about four meters off the ground for the floor level. So it's going to be pretty high up. What we've got set up so far is uh, this line up here. So it's going to be the floor level to give the big pyramid effect, big pyramid side effect. Benny's got a crew of 18 guys who do the bulk of the construction, but once you add in the teams that decorate the set, help build the fires, and sit in on rehearsals, it takes more than 100 crew members to get Tribal Council ready. So a week since you've been here, so since then we've constructed the floor, we've got our base floor, we've finished the entrance, we've got our entrance stairs, uh, just for the main walk-in, we're moving on to the roof. Uh, this is the first layer of the roof, it's going to be a two-tier roof, similar to the vote, uh, similar to the vote roof we've done out there, so it's, uh, it's going to end up quite tall. That's the walk to vote bridge, it's still under construction, it's not quite finished yet. The great thing about visiting so many different countries is that we can draw on the talents of local craftsmen. This season we've hired local experts in the traditional Nicaraguan style of thatched roof who are going to ensure that in four weeks we have a dry set. So today uh, we're just about finished on our roof. We're putting the last of the thatch on the roof. That's just getting finished off. So at the same time, we're also uh, just finishing off the stonework. We had our plywood walls, so uh, covering in cement and getting turned into Mayan stone, ancient Indian style. I'm the guy that goes through and puts black in between all the cracks. It's my life. This is who I am. One of the things I'm mainly concerned with is the logistics. So today we're out here scouting the new tribal for season 22. I'm trying to figure out where our walk-ins will be, where our walk-outs will be. Uh, I think those rocks are good. Come down in between those rocks. And yeah, just go a little bit wide. Look at that. So pretty much straight on here, Benny, to here. And then just a slow wind into those rocks and then up into the messes path. Okay. And we just figured out the path of the walk-in. Done. Hey, we've just been uh, shown where the walk-in path will be, so we'll start clearing the basic path and go from there. So we've got 10 days left. We're, uh, we're moving ahead pretty fast now. We've got the lighting crew moving in. We're getting the lights moving in. We've got our set decorating crew. They're starting to move in with some props. Uh, pyrotechnician crew's coming in for the center fire. That, that'll be finished in the next few days, and it's all starting to, all the pieces are coming together. Decorating the set. We will be using hammers, um, spray packs, paint, and various statues. Statue, bro? So it was just uh, seven weeks ago, this was an empty field, and now, take a look at this. With the efforts of over 100 crew, 15,000 pieces of thatch, and more than three tons of lumber, a formerly empty field is now ready for tonight's Tribal Council, and you are not going to believe what happens here this season. Hope you're enjoying another behind the scenes for Survivor Redemption Island.